Former President Donald Trump rallied his supporters, declaring that the nation stands at the precipice of a decisive battle. Trump outlined a bold vision for the future, emphasizing the need to dismantle what he referred to as the deep state, expel warmongers from the government, and rid the nation of globalists, communists, Marxists, and fascists. The former president asserted that a vote for his return to office symbolizes a commitment to restoring peace, prosperity, and strength to the United States. He painted a vivid contrast between his previous administration's achievements and the current state of affairs under President Joe Biden. Three years ago, our economy was booming, the world was safe, and America was strong, Trump proclaimed. Under the Biden administration, however, we've witnessed a decline in annual incomes, record low mortgage rates, rising inflation, and soaring gas prices. The economy is in shambles and we are stumbling into World War III due to incompetent leadership. Trump went on to accuse Biden and the Democrats of jeopardizing democracy, claiming they are attempting to silence free speech, persecute critics, and rig elections. He criticized Biden's handling of immigration, alleging that citizens are being labeled as criminals, and the Supreme Court is being undermined. If Joe Biden wants to turn this election into a question of which candidate will defend democracy and freedom, then I say bring it on, Trump challenged. Joe, you are a corrupt and incompetent president, and Americans don't want that. With our vote on election day, America will be a free nation once again, free and great.